restarte. Okay, so today uh, we will uh, briefly see how to use uh, a, a servo motor and uh, a relay. Uh, we will start with a relay. Uh, so what is a relay? Uh, a relay is a, an electrically operated switch. Uh, that uh, there are different types of relay. The mass common one, which is uh, uh, the most common one is uh, the uh, electromagnetic uh, uh, relay, uh, which is the uh, type uh, that uh, everyone has in its uh, uh, Arduino kit. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, it uh, operates like a switch uh, controlled by an electric uh, signal. Uh, but there are also, there are also um, other types of relay like the solid state relay uh, that uh, do not have uh, uh, moving uh, parts. Uh, so instead of electromagnetic uh, 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 switch, uh, they use different uh, mechanisms. Uh, so why is used for the relay? Uh, the relay is useful as a bridge between the Arduino and the uh, high voltage devices, or uh, uh, let's say better, it's a, a bridge between a, a low voltage uh, device and uh, uh, high voltage uh, devices. So, uh, because it, it allows to control a high power circuit using a low power circuit. Uh, in our case, uh, the, the relays, uh, 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 accomplish this task using the uh, five voltage uh, from the Arduino pin uh, to uh, control the electromagnet. And uh, uh, the electromagnet uh, enables to uh, open or close uh, the contact in the uh, high power circuit without uh, direct uh, um, contact between these two uh, circuits uh, only. Uh, electromagnetic forces are uses uh, between these two uh, circuits. So uh, uh, they are also said uh, electrically isolated circuit. Uh, this is the uh, pin out of uh, uh, our uh, uh, relay. Um, it, it, it has uh, five pins. So uh, the two pins that uh, uh, power the, the coil. Uh, so uh, one is the uh, voltage pin and the ground pin. Uh, so these two are uh, the ones uh, directly uh, controlled by Arduino in our case. Uh, well, the other three pins are the uh, common pin uh, which is uh, the one connected to the uh, power source of the uh, high power circuit and uh, uh, normally open pin and normally closed uh, normally closed pin and normally open pin so the normally closed is the one that is uh, um, that is uh, normally in, in contact with the uh, power mm. so uh, it uh, normally means uh, that uh, when the electromagnet is uh, not uh, energized, uh, so uh, the normally closed is uh, uh, direct is in contact with the power uh, circuit, while the normally open uh, pin uh, is uh, uh, gets uh, in contact with the power only when the uh, electromagnet is uh, energized uh, from the Arduino. <clears throat> uh, okay, so um, uh, the, uh, using the relay, we will do a, a simple exercise that uh, it's, uh, uh, let's say, the second step of the uh, uh, lab that you uh, uh, took uh, last time. So last time you, uh, you you learned how to control the uh, 
uh, DC motor. And in this case, uh, we will uh, uh, control the DC motor, uh, putting a relay uh, between uh, the Arduino and the motor. <clears throat> so we need the same components of uh, uh, the previous uh, uh, previous uh, laboratory uh, uh, and uh, uh, the relay uh, in addition. The components are the, uh, of course, the Arduino board, the breadboard, uh, the, uh, the motor driver chip, uh, L293D, uh, the, uh, the motor with the fan blade, and then the power supply, uh, the relay, and of course, some cables. <clears throat> so this is... Uh, the connection that you uh, used uh, last time, where you uh, connected directly the, the motor with uh, its uh, driver in this way. You know? in, in, the, in our case, uh, we are putting uh, the relay between the driver and the, and the motor. And, uh, uh, so, in, in, so specifically, uh, we will put the um, the voltage pin will be connected to the output uh, pin of the with one of the two output pin of uh, our uh, driver. You remember it has uh, uh, two output pin. So one is the number three and one is the uh, the three from the end. So uh, we put uh, the one of these to the uh, voltage input and then the other to the uh, ground uh, to the ground uh, uh, pin. Uh, while uh, in the common uh, pin we we put the uh, the power source. So in our case, uh, yeah, uh, in our case, we use the same uh, uh, the same uh, power from uh, Arduino, so five voltage. But uh, uh, yeah, in this case, this is not really uh, meaningful for this uh, exercise because the the relay becomes meaningful when uh, we are using uh, higher uh, voltage. So. Um, uh, so in this case, in so in the general case here, you put the uh, an higher voltage, external uh, uh, voltage, and uh, finally uh, we connect uh, the uh, normally uh, the normally uh, normally uh, open pin to the to the motor, and uh, the other uh, <clears throat> pin of the motor uh, uh, is connected to the ground. <clears throat> Okay, so in this way, uh, the, the motor is not uh, connected to the power source uh, normally, but when uh, we uh, provide uh, voltage, uh, uh, voltage uh, across the um, electromagnet, so here, we uh, uh, close the circuit and uh, the motor uh, gets powered from the external uh, uh, source. Uh, yeah, the, the code is uh, very simple. So we have the same uh, uh, <clears throat> the same um, uh, pin, the, the same pin that we used uh, that you used for the uh, control of DC motor. So the enable pin and the two pin uh, for the uh, direction of, uh, to set the direction uh, to the driver, and uh, uh, in our case we just uh, um, uh, set uh, the, the the motor on for the first four seconds, and then turn the relay off for two seconds, and this uh, can be made just by by um, uh, setting uh, uh, high or uh, high or low the enable uh, signal, the enable signal uh, from the Arduino. So um, to uh, 
Oh, yeah, one thing uh, here is that uh, in this way we cannot uh, uh, control uh, anymore the the direction of of our motor or the speed because the the circuit of the motor is fixed and also the external uh, supply is fixed. The, the relay uh, acts only like a switch, so it uh, can only turn on and off uh, the operation of the motor. <clears throat> uh, okay, I, I can show you the, uh, how it works, uh, and then uh, you can try to connect your um, Oh, maybe I will show this later because I just uh, break the connection of the motor with the cable. So I will try to uh, sort it out uh, while uh, you uh, do the exercise. Uh, so this is uh, uh, the part from the relay. Uh, while uh, uh, let's move to the, uh, the servo motor. So uh, this is a very simple, uh, uh, much simpler than uh, the relay. The, so the servo motor is a uh, is a geared motor that can only rotate 100 degrees. Uh, so this is the motor. Yeah, you can see in, so in the figure it's the same, um, and uh, uh, it controls the angular position. Uh, using a uh, uh, PWM, um, so a, a pulse width modulation, uh, so that uh, the width of the inputs uh, tells the motor what is the uh, position it should uh, uh, move to. Uh, it has uh, only three wires, so uh, the brown uh, uh, is the ground wire, uh, is connected to the ground. The, the red uh, is the power wire, and you can connect it to five voltage uh, pin. And the uh, yellow one is the uh, signal wire uh, that, that uh, uh, is connected to a, a PWM port. Uh, for example, I use the number nine in the exercise. So uh, yeah, the, the scheme is, uh, uh, very simple, just, uh, we just need the Arduino board, the servo motor. Uh, it it can, is uh, usually provided with different kind of uh, rotors, this in white, you can see. So, uh, and uh, finally, uh, the three cables uh, to connect to the motor. Uh, this is the uh, connection, the wiring diagram. So, the red uh, to the five voltage, the brown to the ground, and the yellow to the pin number nine. And uh, uh, this is the code. Uh, here there is something uh, uh, new because uh, <clears throat> uh, to control the servo, we need to include the, this uh, library, uh, servo.h, uh, that uh, uh, includes uh, uh, that allows us to uh, use a, a specific function. So uh, using the, the, this uh, library, we can, um, we can uh, create uh, an ob object called my servo uh, here. And, and it seems, uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, it is uh, commented, but it should not be commented. Uh, sorry for this. So uh, we create the object uh, called the my servo, and uh, uh, this object uh, is uh, uh, includes uh, uh, different uh, uh, function, different modules that we can uh, call uh, uh, simply. Uh, for instance, uh, uh, we, uh, the first thing uh, we can uh, uh, specify with the attach uh, function 
the pin that is used to control the motor. And uh, uh, with the right function, we can uh, uh, specify the angle uh, uh, that the motor should uh, rotate to. Uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, so uh, in this case, we are uh, 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 re reproducing this uh, behavior. So it uh, uh, stays to the zero, posi zero degrees for a four second, then uh, it uh, moves to uh, 90 degrees. Uh, this is uh, wrong here. 90 degrees for uh, um, one second, and finally uh, to 180 degrees for uh, uh, three seconds. Uh, <clears throat> Okay, uh, that's all the uh, new uh, new things for this uh, lecture. Uh, you can uh, you can start uh, uh, making your own uh, uh, circuits, and uh, I, I will uh, connect mine, and I will show first the uh, the motor, and then the uh, sorry, first the uh, DC motor, and then the uh, servo motor, but uh, uh, please let me know if you have any question. Uh, I, anyway, I will stay here uh, for another uh, half, an, half an hour. So one question. Yes. Uh, for the task we have to do, it's only for the servo or motor, right? Uh, no, there is uh, one uh, uh, for each, uh, one for servo motor and one for relay. Okay. Yeah, but um, I, I think now you can just uh, uh, start uh, uh, re uh, replicating these uh, examples that I showed you. And uh, yeah, you can finish the task as a homework. I will, uh, so the task are this. One is uh, for the servo motor, instead of uh, we, we did this kind of uh, uh, signal, instead of this, we want to, do uh, one like this, so uh, the angles uh, change uh, uh, linearly between the same uh, position. Instead than uh, full signals, we want to use some uh, linear signals. So <clears throat> this is one. Uh, you can just uh, see the this linear function as a uh, as an uh, can be approximated by a a step function with a very small step. So you change uh, uh, you change the motor for, uh, you sweep uh, all the angles between zero and 180 degrees, setting the time in the uh, appropriate way in order that it reach the final position in the desired time. Uh, and um, yeah, for the relay, uh, uh, for the relay exercise, you can uh, um, control uh, instead of the motor, maybe a uh, uh, LID uh, and uh, do the same thing. Oh, another thing that um, I want to mention you is, um, um, yeah, yeah, I said that, um, um, let's see, yeah. Um, we are doing uh, so. Um, the, uh, following this uh, code, the motor will will uh, uh, turn on for four four seconds and off for two seconds. But uh, um, because we uh, connect the we connect the motor to the uh, normally uh, closed pin. So if we instead connect the motor to the uh, uh, so, sorry, we connect the motor to the normally open pin in our case. If we connect uh, instead to the normally closed, uh, what happens is that we invert the cycle. So the motor will uh, rotate for two seconds and uh, will uh, turn off for uh, four seconds. Is it uh, clear? Can I ask a question for task two? 
It says yeah. we have to use an LED, but can we just use a DC motor instead? The DC motor, but the, the DC motor uh, is what uh, you need to do now, no? It's the same that uh, I, I showed you. So just to make something uh, a bit different, I I propose to use the LID. Otherwise you are doing the same thing. Okay. I, I had a question about the, the code that you showed. Yeah, that, that one. Yeah, which one? The code for, uh, for the servo or for yeah, the, the, the servo, the, um, yeah. Okay. So the servo. This one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you said the first, you have to create um, the object my servo. So it's not supposed to be commented out, right? That's what you said? The servo, my servo? Yeah, yeah. So, um, you, you just need to include the library in this way and then uh, uh, you create uh, uh, this uh, uh, my servo of so servo is the class right, 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 so right. you you create the object uh, my servo that belongs to the class servo mm -hmm. and uh, yeah and then you can use your uh, uh, your motor uh, using the class my servo here. Mm -hmm. Sorry, using the object my servo that belongs to the class uh, servo with, with the capital letter. I see. Okay, thank you. Yeah, maybe you now you can uh, start uh, doing your. Uh, um, do, uh, doing this exercise and why I will try to uh, fix the problem with my motor and uh, to show you the behavior. Hey, can I ask a question to yeah. Bowen? Ah, uh, to Bowen, okay. Yeah, I just want to ask him a question. Hey, Bowen, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah, can I ask you a question about um, the lab three? Yes, please. Okay, so... Uh, I, I think I wired it correctly, but I was wondering, um, was the motor supposed to rotate one full revolution? Uh, I'm sorry, which one are you talking about? Lab three, the DC motor lab. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah yes, then, but which yeah, part? The, motor, the DC motor is uh, uh, con uh, just uh, rotate the... Uh, um, it does not uh, uh, ask a control position, just uh, rotate uh, full, full uh, yeah, full uh, revolution. So you just moment. control the speed of that motor, not the position. Yes. So, oh, this is only about the speed, right? So that means that the motor does not have to rotate a full revolution? No, it doesn't have to be. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, I'm asking because of, uh, I, I think I wired it properly, but when I upload the code, the code that you know you gave us, um, mm -hmm. it doesn't rotate a full revolution. It just it rotates a little bit clockwise and then a little bit counterclockwise. And I was just wondering if that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, it's it's totally fine as long as you wire it up, hook it up like cor correctly, and you upload the code uh, correctly, then it should be fine. It doesn't have to be. Uh, rotating like full resolute, uh, resolute, uh, revolutions, it doesn't have to be. So it's fine if it basically, it's fine if it turns counterclockwise and clockwise, just a tiny bit, right? Because uh, that's what my motor's I did, doing. I don't think I prepared this lab, but I would say it should be fine. I, I'm actually having the same issue. I'm just, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Not getting enough enough power to the DC motor, but it does. I'm sorry, you you were saying you suspect uh you suspect that there were not enough power inject to the DC motor. Yeah, I mean, I run the code. I get the same thing that uh whoever was speaking saying. Uh, I have I get the same scenario. It rotates mm -hmm. a little bit to the clockwise and then a little bit counterclockwise. It doesn't go at full speed. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
we'll get back to you about this. I think but, uh, can you, we'll need to check it. Yeah, can you share uh, maybe the the connection and the code? Because otherwise it's difficult uh, for us to... By the way, the lab is due today, so uh, I don't know. When are you going to get back? Uh, actually, if in that case, I think we can extend the due for maybe another week. Oh really? Yeah. Would that also affect so. the um the lab the lab four? I'm assuming is due next week. Would that affect that as well? Um no. Everything else will just go as is. But we're just a big because of we have we're having an issue with this lab three. So I think maybe we need to look into that. Maybe there's not that's not an issue, that's how it should be. Uh, I don't think I prepared lab three. I think someone else prepared that, so I'll need to uh, talk Jung with them. Jungsi did the lab three. I'm sorry? Jungsi did the lab three. Oh yeah, yeah, he did. He did. I'll need to talk with him and see if that's what in plan or we need to fix something. So you've got one more week on uh, lab three, but still you will need to work on your lab four at the same time. Is it possible to email the lab and get some feedback? Uh, maybe it's the code or something that's not working properly? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, talk, I'll talk to the person who did lab three and ask him if that's how it should be and he'll get back to you guys soon, all right? Okay. Thank you. Great. Thank you for the feedback. Oh, I'm just curious. Uh, when you when you uh, ask that question, uh, about when can we expect a response? Oh, I think he's uh, here. Yeah, yeah, he he just came. He just came. So. Hello, Junji. So should I ask him my question? Uh, hello, can you hear me? Hello, yeah. Uh, actually, the student, they, they got a little bit problem with uh, lab three from last lab session. So we're wondering if you can uh, maybe answer some questions from it. Yeah, so uh, when you say it's rotating very little, did it? Uh, yeah, it only rotated a little bit in each direction. I was wondering, was it, was it supposed to rotate a full revolution? Uh, yes, it's supposed to rotate quite f fast. Oh, yeah, that's not uh, happening for me. So, uh, let me Okay, someone said that I should take out the four. Uh, so you're using the code I provided in the folder, right? There are three parts of this code. Uh, yeah, I used the code one, that you provided. Uh, which one are you referring, which part are you referring to? Um, uh, the whole thing, really. Because uh, when I ran the whole code, it, again, it doesn't spin a full direction. I mean, a full revolution. Do you have enough power on your USB port? Uh, enough power? Uh, I believe so. I'm, I rewired it three times. Uh... I mean, how would you know if you don't have enough power? Um, it sometimes happens when you're using a laptop because uh, the voltage on the laptop USB port could be uh, low sometimes. 
Yeah, I think that's what happened. That's what's happening with mine. Uh, I'm gonna try and use a different uh, sort of file. Hello, I have a question for text two. They want to increase the speed in three seconds. So should we just do this one in three seconds? Because I using for loop to do this increased speed. Then this is very fast. I think it's not a three second. Uh, you can use the delay function to even delay, it's not a three seconds. Uh, this one want me to increase the speed in three seconds, then decrease the speed in uh, three seconds. So totally six seconds for time. Uh, but uh, we are using the for loop for this increase and decrease, then it's go fast then more than uh, uh, it's called fasting. Uh, to change the speed, you need to use um, analog write function, not digital write function. Uh, you need to set the uh, second parameter of the analog write function, which uh, it's a number ranging from zero to 255. And uh, zero means uh, no, no rotation and 255 means uh, full speed rotation. So by gradually increasing this number in a for loop, you should be able to see uh, the motor rotating faster and faster or slower and slower. Yeah, I really do, but it's a full time. They want it done in three uh, seconds. This gets a problem. Uh, can you show us a code? You know, when when the motor from zero to, to 255, then this is go fast than uh, three seconds. It's not using three seconds. It's less than three seconds. Then it's really getting the speed is really getting from zero to uh, the fourth speed. Uh, I mean, one way, for example, oh. uh, you can first uh, set the speed to 128, which is half speed, and wait for 1.5 seconds using the delay function, and then uh, change the number to 255, which will in enable full speed rotation and wait another 1.5 seconds. So this okay. is a very rough. You can you can uh, create a much smoother uh, speed up or speed down by uh, adding more steps. Like uh, currently, I only uh, uh, the method I just use it is only two steps. It's like zero half speed and full speed. But you can add more speed, uh, more steps into it, like a quarter speed, a three quarter of the speed, this kind of thing. Okay, I got it. Yeah, but if you have more steps, then you need to change the delay time between each step so that the total time is equal to three seconds. For example, if you have four steps, then you have three, uh, three yeah, delay times, then you, yeah, you need to wait one second for each step.
Okay, guys. So uh, I, I would like to show just uh, how the uh, the code with the relay should work. So let me try this. See, in this case, the motor rotates four seconds and the uh, turn off for two seconds. Oh, Um, can you move the camera to your breadboard? Uh, yeah. I'm oh wait, is this for lab four? This is lab. Uh, this is yeah, the lab four. Oh, so, never mind. Yeah. So in the, you can see here that uh, if I change the the connection of the motor, uh, so instead of uh, to normally uh, normally open, I connect uh, to normally closed pin of the relay. So I just change this one. Oh, there is something and not uh, working now. <laughs> there is something uh, wrong now. I don't know, but what happens is that uh, uh, the cycle is inverted. So it uh, uh, rotates for uh, uh, two seconds and, uh, uh, and uh, turns off for four seconds. Uh, now maybe something uh, gets wrong. And, oh no. uh, some uh, uh, practical considerations are that uh, so when the electromagnet switches, you can hear uh, the noise, it's like a click. That's uh, exactly the movement of the electromagnet inside the, the relay. And um, wait, can I see uh, your breadboard again? Yes, I think it, uh, it's uh, more clear from the slide that uh, I show you. Uh, another uh, uh, practical uh, uh, aspect is that uh, uh, the relay, um, the pin of the relay are not uh, very well aligned with the holes in the breadboard. So you need to maybe bend uh, a little bit to, uh, to match the holes in, on the breadboard. Uh, yeah, and uh, and also uh, push uh, well because otherwise it cannot uh, uh, contact cannot uh, have a good contact because the pin are pretty short. Uh, yeah, I can show this, but uh, I think it's more clear from the uh, wiring diagram that I show you on uh, on the slide. This is a new screen. Yeah, now I also will uh, uh, we change with the servo uh, demo. I have a question. For the servo demo, is the um, servo motor supposed to be um, continually moving for the fir four, first four seconds? Oh, or can we I'll set it to like... I'll show, I'll show you again the slides to make this clear. Yeah, I'm looking at the slides, but can we so like... So see, uh, with this code, uh, the motor will be um, yeah fast. So it is uh, rapid motion from zero to ninety, no? Yeah. Yeah. So it's uh, in the in the minimum time, no? Instead, uh, uh, the the exercise for home is that uh, you need to uh, 
change it uh, uh, continuously uh, yeah linearly over the time okay uh, now, now i show you the demo for the servo yeah maybe i can also show how it should work for the homework uh, yeah, meanwhile, you can keep uh, so. Um, so I had another question in the in the wiring diagram, it, it doesn't really show uh, the connection to the uh, power supply. Yeah, sorry, uh, that's uh, uh, you're right. That's the same of the lab tree. Uh, okay. So you connect the uh, so you connect the five voltage to the power supply uh, here on the on the power supply board. So five voltage from Arduino goes to the power supply uh, board here. Right. Uh, yeah, you you can just check uh, these two pins from the lab tree. Uh, I see. So, because sorry, the lab tree uh, had a little bit different figure, but uh, okay, I understand. Thank you. Okay, so this is the demo for the servo motor. So uh, you can see this in the general position, it's say four seconds, then one second to 90 degree, and then three seconds, 180 degree. So see the motions are uh, uh, quick. Okay, now, now I'll try to show you the difference with uh, the exercise uh, uh, assigned uh, for homework. Yeah, okay, so this is uh, for the homework. So you can see the motor moves linearly between the different positions. See, this takes four seconds. This three seconds. So the, the let's say the rotation does not happen only at the end of the uh, of the delay interval, but it uh, 
uh, happens uh, during all the interval. Uh, that's all I want to show you. Uh, so, sorry, I just wanted to confirm, are, are, are you guys making the labs definitely do, both of them let three and four do next week? Uh, this uh, Bowen can. Oh. <laughs> well, I think the due for lab four is in three weeks, not in next week, right? Because we, we, we're having lab four this week. Oh, I see. I understand. Right. Yeah. Okay. So it shouldn't be a problem. You have plenty of time to uh, com complete but, for lab four. But lab three definitely is next week. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. No worries. I put the the slides and also the code of this uh, lesson in the in the lab folder. So in on Dropbox, you can find them uh, there. Thank you.